equal or unequal parts lesson 12.8 we can identify equal and unequal parts of a two-dimensional shape if they're equal all the parts are the same size if they're unequal the parts are different sizes here we have a square that's cut into four equal parts here we have a square that's cut into four unequal parts see how they're all the diff different sizes if you were sharing a candy bar with friends, which candy bar is cut into equal parts so each person gets the same size piece? It would be this one, wouldn't it? Then everyone would get a fair share, an equal share. If it were cut like this, somebody would get a very little piece and somebody would get a very big piece. That's not an equal share. Equal parts are equal shares. The parts are all the same size. So we have a circle. We can draw a line through the middle of it and make two same size parts. They'll be equal parts. Unequal parts are unequal shares. The parts are different sizes. Here we have a parallelogram. And if we use a trapezoid, a rhombus and a triangle, you can see that they'll make a parallelogram, but then all the parts are different sizes, aren't they? We have a big one, a medium one, and a small one. Circle the shapes that show equal parts. So here we have a rhombus, and it's got a line going from this corner to this corner, from this vertex to this vertex. Does it look like it's equal parts, if that was a piece of candy? Well, my drawing's not perfect, but that's equal parts. What if the line was going this way? Would that be two equal parts? Yes, it would. What if the piece of candy was cut like this? Would it be fair and would everyone get an equal share? Mm, somebody would get a little piece, wouldn't they? So that's not equal parts. Here we have some circles. Which ones show equal parts? Well, this one has a little piece and then a bigger piece. So right away you can see the, the pieces are different sizes, so it's not that one. Does that show equal parts, equal shares? The middle one? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? If we cut a pie like that, everybody would get the same size piece, wouldn't they? What if you separated a pie into a piece like this and the other person got that piece? Would that be equal shares and equal parts? No. Somebody would get almost the whole pie, wouldn't they? That wouldn't be fair to the person getting that one. Look at these squares. Which ones show equal parts or equal shares? Well, this one, this line cuts it right in half. So we have two equal shares, two equal parts. What about this one? It cuts across from this vertex to this vertex, and then it goes from this vertex down to that vertex. Yeah, if we cut it, like that, that would make four equal parts. Would these be equal parts? Hmm, they're all different sizes, so no. Look at these triangles. Are these equal parts? Are they the same size and shape? Nope, so not that one. What about this one? Think of this one if it's on its side and we tipped it over so that was the bottom. Would that be equal parts then? Yes, actually it would because it would look just like this one. It's just on its side, see? If I turn my camera, look at that, see? It's the same as that one. It just rotated and is laying on its side, see? 
So those are equal parts. What about these rectangles? Is this cut into equal parts? Yes, it is. They're all the same size, aren't they? What about this one? If this was a candy bar, would you each get the same amount? He said, yes, you're right. Would you split a candy bar with someone like this if you were getting the top piece? Would that be fair? No, because they'd get a much bigger piece, wouldn't they? So that's not equal parts. What about these squares? This one's split into three parts, but are they equal? Well, if someone got this piece, it would be very small, and that person would get a big piece, wouldn't they? So that's not equal parts. What about this square? Yeah, that would be equal parts. And this one? Would everyone get the same fair share? No, one person would get a big piece, wouldn't they? So that's not equal parts. What about these trapezoids? Are these cut into equal parts? Well, it looks like one person would get a big piece in the middle, so that's not fair. That's not equal parts. What about here? It's got a line coming right down the middle, and it's cutting it in half. Yes, we would have two equal parts. What if we drew the line this way? Well, this one is longer, this one's shorter, so they're not equal parts. What about this rhombus? Are these equal parts? Yes, actually they are. If we cut it with the scissors right here and separated them, they would look like two identical shapes, wouldn't they? So they're equal. How about this one? Well, that's a very small piece and that's a very large piece, so that's not equal parts. What if we turned it on its side? See, that's a rhombus turned on its side and then drew lines from vertex to vertex. Kind of looks like a kite, doesn't it? A little bit. Yeah, those are equal parts. Write the number of equal shares. So this is cut into one, two, three pieces. So there's three equal shares. What about this one? How many equal shares are there? We have one, two. What about this circle? How many equal shares are there? We have one, two, three, four equal shares. We need to draw lines to make equal shares. It wants four equal shares in this square. So how can we draw lines to make it so that there will be four equal shares? We could draw a plus sign like that. We could even go from vertex to vertex, couldn't we? Either way, if we drew a plus sign like that, we would have four equal shares, okay? My drawing's not perfect, but I was trying to make it. What about two equal shares for this triangle? We could draw a line going from this vertex all the way down to its base like that, so it cuts it in half. That would be two equal shares. How about this rectangle? It needs three equal shares. We could draw a line here, and we could draw a line here, and that would make three equal shares, right? How about a circle? We need four equal shares. We could do the same thing that we did with the square. We can put like a plus sign in it. We will 
cut it in half by drawing that line, and then we'll cut the half in half by drawing a line going this way. See? Then there'll be four equal shares. How about this hexagon? How could we make two equal shares? We could make two trapezoids by drawing a line going across this way, couldn't we? Then we'd have two equal shares. We can also draw a line going this way and make two equal shares. So we could cut it like this and make two equal shares, this side and this side. Or we can make two trapezoids and cut it this way and make one two equal shares, couldn't we? That's half a hexagon and that's half a hexagon and together they make a whole hexagon. Okay? Our next video we're going to talk about halves. That's the plural for half. When you have more than one half you have halves. That's lesson 12.9. If you've got some drawings or some paper that you can split into equal parts, you should try. You should practice and see if you can make the parts equal and how many you have. I'm really proud of you. You're doing very well. You're almost done with first grade math. I'll see you next time. Bye.